Okay, today we're going to be tackling the General Motors rear 9-inch drums. Um, in brake shoes, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through uh, a disassemble and reassemble of this particular drum brake setup. Before we begin, let's look at what kind of tools we're going to need for this task. And in your student tool set, you're going to have a um, pretty similar uh, brake uh, tool set. And here I have a hold down spring tool. I have a return spring tool. In this set, I also have some adjuster spoons. Some brake bleeder wrenches, which is, we're not going to need those for today. Just some standard channel like pliers. Screwdriver. And your brake shoe caliper for when we need to adjust them. I have some white lithium grease. And just a tape measure, I wanted to show you how to take a measurement of the rear brake drums if you ever need to order another one. Okay, we'll come over here. And first we want to begin by removing the rear brake drum. We'll set that to the side. And I want to go ahead and identify some of the components for you uh, in this rear brake shoe setup. First, we're going to look at the leading shoe. Then we have the trailing shoe. Uh, the leading shoe or front shoe is going to have smaller brake lining, if you notice that, opposed to the rear shoe. We have our return springs. There's a white one up front, blue one in back. They do highlight them in different colors sometimes. And we have our hold down springs for the rear shoe and hold down spring for the front shoe. Can't really see it right now, but um, you have a spring right here for your self adjuster. And down underneath uh, the axle is going to be your star wheel adjuster, which you can't see right now, but I'll show it to you once I get it out. Okay, let's go ahead and begin our disassembly of uh, the rear shoes using those tools that I showed you. First, I wanna go ahead and begin by disassembling um, my return springs, and these can get kind of tricky. There's been many a times I've had them go flying across the shop. Make sure you do have your safety glasses on, and certainly wouldn't want to get hit by one of those. Uh, to remove the return springs, we want to use this end of our tool. It's two-sided. This is to put them back on, and this is to take them off. Successful with that one. I'll set that to the side in the brake drum, then I'll go ahead and I'll remove the other one, another return spring. I like to keep my parts in the brake drum, uh, it makes it kind of handy, this way uh, nothing gets lost. And of course, if we were doing uh, brake drums, or, or replacing the brake shoes rather, on a customer's vehicle, I would always install brand new hardware. Because springs do wear out over time, and you don't want to put something in back like uh, you know, worn out spring in the customer's vehicle. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use that screwdriver and I'm going to put it between the brake shoe and that spring and just give it a little twist and it should come right out for you. Again, anytime you're working with a spring, there's always that potential for that spring to go flying across the shop and maybe hit someone in the face. You don't want that to happen. Here I just moved my uh, self-adjuster lever down. I can take the adjuster rod out, set that to the side, and now I'm going to need my return or my hold down spring tool. Okay. And I'm trying to give you the best possible shot of uh, what this looks like to get this off. I'm just going to put the tool on the spring, push in while giving a quarter turn. And that takes that spring right off of there for you. Okay. I'll take out my adjuster lever. It does have a little washer in here. And this is kind of, you know, just uh, to General Motors. I don't really see this on any other manufacturer, but you want to be aware that it is there. I'll take my brake nail out, set that to the side. First I want you to take a look at the stamping on the back, and it says two on it, and brake nails come in different lengths. Okay, this is a two inch brake nail, it says so on the back, and when we're, whenever we're replacing brake hardware, we want to make sure that we're replacing uh, those brake nails with the same length ones that we took off. Okay. 
I'll go ahead and I'll remove my rear hold down spring. Again, just push in a quarter turn and it should come right out of there for you. Some, some, sometimes they don't. Now I'll go ahead and I'll take out, which you really couldn't see from the uh, angle that I was showing you earlier. It's for the parking brake. It's a parking brake spreader bar. And that's what it looks like. Okay, it has a spring on one end. You don't want to lose this. Okay, and the spring only goes on one side. You can't fit it on the other. Just it physically won't go on. So it's fairly simple to tell which side it came off of. And of course we have our anchor washer up here. I removed that as well. I'll set that to the side. And now I'll go ahead and remove my brake shoes uh, from the backing plate. Okay. That's what it looks like when the shoes come off. I know everybody does theirs a little bit differently. Uh, this is the way I, I like to disassemble my brake shoes. It seems to be easiest.